Sometimes there's not enough space in your wallet and that's why you upgrade to a backpack. Backpack is a leading Solana wallet with many cool and unique features which has also got many cool partnerships with Solana protocols that are conducting airdrops. Nonetheless, this is going to be a simple and easy guide on how to set up and use the backpack wallet within the Solana ecosystem. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. Use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable and be sure to smash that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems for daily crypto content and check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles and everything crypto related. Friends, let's dive straight into the video. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, we're officially on the Backpack website, which is backpack.app and we'll come back here in a second. However, we've also got the X pages at Backpack. Give them a follow and turn on the notification bells to stay up to date with everything regarding their wallet. Now, what we're going to do is, my friends, we're going to show you how to set up the Backpack wallet. We're going to show you how to deposit assets into the wallet. And then, of course, we're going to show you how to use the Backpack wallet. Therefore, to start off with, what we're going to need to do is obviously make sure that you're on the correct website which is backpack.app then of course we're going to be downloading the extension of the backpack wallet now this is a mobile compatible wallet as well so you can download this on ios android and google devices therefore if you don't want to use the desktop version you can simply just mirror this by using the mobile wallet instead however it will look slightly different obviously but what we're going to do is we're going to be downloading the Google Chrome extension as that is the browser I'm currently using. But before we get started and download the extension, I briefly want to go through the website which explains some cool features and why Backpack is a leading Solana wallet. And as you can see, if we scroll down, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Backpack has got some cool partnerships with amazing protocols within the Solana ecosystem such as MarginFi, Zeta Markets and Tensor. These basically give you extra points within the ecosystem, enabling you to earn extra airdrop points from these protocols. And these aren't the only protocols, my friends. We've also got NX Finance, which I'll show you shortly, and of which we did an airdrop tutorial on. Nonetheless, as you can see, by using a backpack wallet and by using them on these protocols, you get extra score to earn extra rewards, which means more money in your wallet, your backpack wallet. Obviously, there's enough space to go in there because it is a backpack, not a small little wallet. I'm just joking, but <laughs> carrying on. As you can see down below, we can secure your collectibles. You can lock up your NFTs to prevent them from being drained. Therefore, it's another safety mechanism for NFT collectors, enabling you to lock your NFTs so no one can send them anywhere. We support locking for 100 plus of the most popular Solana NFT collections, including Mad Lads, Clanosaurs, I don't know what this one is, I don't know what this one is, and Tensorians. You can find out more, however, another cool thing is you can filter out spam for both tokens and collectibles in your wallet. Now, if you look at a portfolio tracker or, or even sometimes your own wallet, you'll happen to find so much spam and random transactions that you never actually did. Tokens that have been sent to your wallet, for example, this is all considered spam, and therefore with the backpack wallet, you can filter it all out and nothing like that will appear. However, another cool thing is we can stake an urn, which I'll get into shortly, meaning that we can stake towards a Solana validator. You can also set custom RPCs, setting your own priority fees. And the great thing is, of course, like every other non-custodial wallet, no KYC is required. So my friends, what we're going to do is we're going to simply show you how to get started. If we scroll up back to the top, I'm going to be personally using the Google Chrome extension like I mentioned. So I'm going to click download extension. And as you can see, it takes us over to the official Chrome web store on Google, which of course is connected to your Gmail account. And as you can see, there's over 500,000 backpack users already. That is excluding the other browsers. Of course, this is all on Google Chrome itself. It is rated 4.6 out of 5, which is incredible with 330 ratings. Now, very simply what we're going to do is we're going to click add to chrome this little blue button here i'm going to click add extension and voila what happens is we get directed to a new tab however in the top right corner as you can see with all my other wallets metamask phantom kepler and so on there's a little jigsaw puzzle in the top right corner next to those wallets if you click that those are your extensions what we want to do is we want to simply pin our backpack wallet so it appears up the top with the rest so we don't have to keep clicking this little puzzle now from here Obviously, we haven't got a backpack wallet and the purpose of this tutorial is to set a new wallet. However, if you already have a Phantom wallet or another Solana EVM wallet, you can actually input your seed phrase into the backpack wallet to make it your new home. However, I'm going to be creating a brand new wallet using a new seed phrase. Therefore, I'm going to click the create a new wallet option. Now, once I click it, 
we're going to be choosing the network that we want to choose. And I'm personally going to be choosing the Solana network as a primary network. Although you can set up a base Polygon or Ethereum network, I'm personally going to do Solana as that is the primary network of this wallet. So secret recovery phrase warning. On the next page, you will receive your secret recovery phrase. This is the only way to recover your account if you lose access to your device or password. Write it down, store it in a safe place and never share it with anyone. And it's also missing never to write it down or store it on any digital device. So I'm going to click I understand. As you can see straight away, we have got our recovery phrase. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to see my recovery phrase here. However, it's a series of 12 words that you're going to write down in order of 1 to 12 so that you know exactly what word goes in what order and you have written them down correctly with no spelling errors or anything. This is very important to write down on a physical sheet guys whether that's a piece of paper whether that's a metal sheet it is extremely important to store it offline don't copy it onto your laptop your computer your phone anything like that don't take a screenshot don't take a photo write it down simply you should not have this on any digital device that includes emails nothing at all guys please 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 be so careful with your secret recovery phrase if anyone has access to your 12 words they have access to your entire wallet that is no good. So my friends, what we're going to do is I'm going to be writing down my seed phrase and I'm going to be storing it safely and you're going to do the same thing and then we're going to continue. And then of course, you just have to enter your own password, which is going to enable you to log in obviously without your seed phrase. But if you forget your password, then you're going to need your seed phrase. So make sure you know your password, make sure you're comfortable with it, make sure it is a safe one. And then we continue. And voila, my friends, we are all good to go. As you can see, we can now find these backpack support, backpack X and backpack discord by clicking these buttons which we've already done basically with x but you can do so with support and discord like we did in the top right corner you click the jigsaw piece puzzle and you add it as an extension by clicking the pin button but what we're going to do is we're now going to open our backpack wallet now we can see that we've already got it up and open which we can do a full screen if we wish pretty cool right from the get-go guys as you can see guys we've got zero soul in our wallet now, another cool thing is, guys, that Backpack is more than just a wallet. They have their very own exchange, which you can actually use to buy cryptocurrencies directly on their platform. As you can see, they've got all these Solana assets you can trade. However, this is not the primary focus of this video. In the future, if you want us to cover the Backpack exchange, we will. But the primary focus, my friends, is to simply use the Solana wallet, which, as you can see, we've obviously got zero dollars. Now, to get assets into your wallet, it is very simple. And that is done simply by using a centralized exchange. Now you can use Bybit and we have a promotion in the description below if you are new to centralized exchanges, which will give you some extra rewards. However, basically what you wanna do is you wanna use your centralized exchange. And what we're gonna do is guys, we're going to use Bybit as our example. Therefore, if you just go up into the top left corner and you go to one click buy here, what you can do is you can simply one click buy any asset. So for example, I wanna use British pounds to buy Solana. So I'm gonna find soul in the search bar as we can see we can get solana here you just buy the amount of solana that you want and then what you do is you come over to your assets your funding account and then you just simply withdraw whichever token it is obviously being the solana token this one you click withdraw and then you go up into your backpack wallet and then you simply go up into your account and then you'll go to this little copy to clipboard and that is your wallet address therefore if you enter the wallet address paste it here all you have to do is select the chain type which is going to be soul and then you have to enter the amount that you're going to send over bear in mind there is a minimum of 0.21 soul and the fees will cost around one dollars and eighty cents however this is exactly how you send to the solana network using a centralized exchange using the buy bit as example however what i'm going to personally do is send it from another wallet being my phantom wallet which is an alternative option obviously if you have that and at the moment guys with backpack there is actually no on-ramp option at the moment however in the future Future, I'm assuming there will be an on-ramp option where you can simply buy Solana directly from your backpack wallet just like you can with other leading wallets such as Metamask for example. However, let's just assume that we get some Solana tokens in our backpack wallet right now. Which, as you can see, I've got 0.15 soul, aka $25.50. Therefore, what we're going to do is, my friends, we're now going to start utilizing the Solana ecosystem. However, like I mentioned earlier over on the Backpack website, you can see that using a Backpack wallet gives you extra points on certain platforms. Therefore, we've got Margin Five, Zeta Markets, Tensor, all of which we can use. However, another one I mentioned was also NX Finance, which, as you can see here on our YouTube channel, we made 13 days ago nx finance airdrop tutorial which we covered and you can check out all for free and even join our nx finance 
team. However, it's not a free airdrop tutorial. Obviously, you're going to have to use some Solana assets in order to qualify for the airdrop, but that is just showing you that you can use the application. Nonetheless, these are some applications that you can use, but the most important thing is, guys, in this tutorial, I'm just going to simply how to use the backpack wallet and obviously start using the Solana ecosystem. So the first thing I want to show you within the backpack wallet is obviously by using the swap feature. And the swap feature is a very simple feature that enables you to swap any of your Solana assets, but you're going to need to have Solana as that is obviously the network token that you use to pay for fees. So you simply just want to make sure that you always leave some Solana for gas fees which are very very minuscule just to let you know there are fractions of a cent but what we're going to do is we're going to click swap i'm now going to be using my sole token to swap into another token therefore if i click receive and i want to choose another token that i can see right here it doesn't actually have to be but let's just say for example i wanted to swap into the usd coin i could simply just go up to the top and the top is going to be the token that you're swapping from and the bottom token is the obviously the token that you're going to be swapping to but i'm just going to do 0.03 sol which is going to give me how much it's going to give me just around five dollars which i'm going to click review and i'm going to approve now what it does is guys basically the wallet aggregates the best exchange for you but i think it pretty much uses the jupiter exchange api therefore we're going to go over to the jupiter exchange very shortly where we'll show you how to use that very popular dex aggregator that most of solana users use so that is exactly how you perform a swap in a backpack wallet it's very simple and straight away you can see that we've got our usd and we've got our solana now that we've done that guys now you know how to swap in the backpack wallet you can see collectibles which are obviously your nft collections so if you do buy any nfts of tensor or magic eden for example or even exchange art you will find them in your backpack wallet under the collectible section under activity is the section obviously of which you perform your transactions therefore as you can see today which we have just been doing this is a new wallet and it is 25th of July at the time of making this video you can see that I've received and I've obviously performed transactions and this is all my activity that takes place within the Solana network and you can find that all in your backpack wallet over on explore this is where it gets fun here you can find the biggest and best decentralized applications from the get-go these are the three top sponsored ones as you can see on the website down here but down below guys you'll see jupiter exchange which we mentioned and i'm going to go over there in a second we've got radium as well which is the leading decentralized exchange on the solana network we've got pump.fun which i'm pretty sure you know you can snipe meme coins we've got moonshot by deck screener which if you haven't seen our tutorial on youtube you can check that out we've got birda which we've done an airdrop tutorial sanctum the same thing jitter we haven't camino finance we have drift we have orca another leading decentralized exchange drip another free airdrop that we've covered in the past and there are so many others guys that we've covered here and many more that we will continue to cover however what I wanted to do is, guys, I now wanted to show you how to use the Jupiter Decentralized Exchange Aggregator to now swap tokens and start utilizing the Solana ecosystem. Therefore, I'm going to click Jupiter. Straight from the get-go, guys, it has already connected my Phantom wallet. Therefore, for now, I'm just going to disconnect it and I'm going to connect my backpack wallet this time. Why? Because obviously, this is the sake of the tutorial. You can obviously switch between wallets anytime you like. Just like so, I've now got my backpack wallet connected. And this time I can now swap my USDC or I can swap my soul however I please. As long as I leave some soul for gas fees, I'm all good. Now this time I'm going to swap my USDC. I'm going to be swapping into another token this time. Let's just say I wanted to swap into the native token of this protocol and that is Jupe. Now if you haven't seen our Jupiter Exchange tutorial, I would highly recommend watching that guys because we go through all of the features on Jupiter. There is a new feature called Value Average which I actually haven't seen yet. But we go through the majority of the application showing you how to use the most of the Jupiter Exchange and even qualify for yearly airdrops of the Jupe token. Nonetheless, I'm going to swap all of my five dollars of usdc into dupe as you can see i will receive 5.15 dupe tokens and it is going to be using the one dex and orca dex to swap the token therefore like i mentioned this is a dex aggregator not a dex therefore jupiter exchange finds the best prices and fees for you when swapping any tokens on the solana network so we're going to be swapping our five dollars we're now going to be using three hops in a different route because it found a better price and we're going to just prepare swap and we're going to confirm and voila we no longer have usdc but we now have dupe tokens which if we go up into our backpack wallet we go over to tokens 
voila we have now got our tokens now another feature within your wallet guys that you may want to use and you probably will at some point is the send and receive feature now receiving is obviously how you receive assets so like you did with your centralized exchange you would use the same wallet address which is the same little button up here if you just click copy to clipboard or if you want to send assets to your friend or another wallet what i can show you is for example is i have a phantom wallet of which i've shown you many times in the past if you watch our youtube channel you'll see that i have many tokens here and therefore what i'm going to do is i'm going to now send from backpack over to phantom now up the top of my phantom wallet we can see copy and i'm going to copy my solana wallet i'm going to go over to my backpack wallet and i'm now going to send tokens this time i want to send over my dupe tokens i want to leave some solana in my wallet obviously for fees so i'm going to click the dupe token from here i'm going to click send i'm going to enter the address that i want to send which is obviously the address that i obviously just pasted and i just click next and i'm just going to click max on my dupe click review approve confirming transaction transaction successful and then i'll have 5.15 more dupe in my wallet very simple and easy my friends and that is how you send another thing that you can do on the backpack wallet before we move on to something else is staking on the backpack wallet like we mentioned earlier now guys i think this is a great feature to have therefore we can start earning some yield on our solana tokens that are sitting idle in our wallet and you must understand guys that by locking and staking your tokens you will not have access to those tokens unless you of course unstake and unlock them therefore if you do want to do this guys it's completely optional you just go to the solana token like i've shown you you go to earn soul with staking you click add stake and we're going to be staking with the mad lads validator so therefore you just input as much as you wish i'm just going to put 0.01 soul just as a tutorial and an example if we click stake voila we click approve now in the phantom wallet guys you can stake with a variety of different validators when it comes to backpack you can only stake with mad lad it appears however this is exactly how you stake you can view stakes now and you can add another stake if you wish into the same validator obviously but maybe in the future they'll have some more validators compatible with the backpack wallet. But for now, my friends, that is exactly how you use the backpack wallet in a nutshell. But guys, to end the video, I think the best way to learn the Solana ecosystem and obviously get used to your backpack wallet is explore the Solana ecosystem. Now, obviously do it at your own risk, my friends, because there are so many applications out there, some of which have got a good footprint. And if you have any questions on any protocols, please don't hesitate to let us know in the comment section down below. However, that is exactly how you use your backpack wallet and you can explore so many different applications within the ecosystem. It can all be found on this website under Solana solana.com forward slash ecosystem the official solana website ecosystem page and friends i will leave this all linked in the description below so you don't have to go finding any dodgy links and another optional thing that you can do is guys is use layer 3 of which there are many solana ecosystem protocols that launch quests and campaigns on the layer 3 platform and i'm pretty sure in the future we'll see some from backpack therefore my friends i'm going to leave the layer 3 link in the description below i'm going to leave everything else linked in the description below and very soon if you want us to cover the backpack exchange platform please don't hesitate to let us know however guys like i said before we have so much crypto content on our youtube channel which you can check out we appreciate you all so much don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because it really shows support on our channel but my friends that is the end of the video and we currently have a promotion running on bybit the best centralized exchange platform for buying trading and earning bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies and you can claim up to four thousand three hundred eighty dollars just by signing up using the link in the description below it's simple if you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews, crypto guides and more. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time, DGENs.